Hey everyone, Hunter back again. Uh, I'm going to do a quick little video here, actually a tutorial on something that I was asked about. Um, this question came from John. Uh, he had asked me, how do you keep your uh, kit chrome parts looking like they were when they first come in the bag in the kit? And uh, that's a very good question. Um, I remember back when I used to use kit chrome, I had that same problem. You know, you break the kit open and you take everything out of the bags and you kind of, you know, lay it out on your on your bench or whatever. And then when you get to the chrome parts, it seems like they don't have the same sheen that they used to. Uh, a couple different ways of going about it. Um, as most of you know, I do not use kit chrome anymore. Uh, I strip and outclad all my stuff or um, if really need be, I'll send it out and have it chromed, uh, either a little motor car or chrome tech. But uh, most of the time I do all my stuff outclad because there's just so many flaws under the kit chrome for uh, competition that it just, uh, it, it can be a flaw that uh, can cost you a, uh, a spot on the podium just by, you know, overlooking that little flaw in that chrome. So I make sure I strip all my chrome and, um, and uh, get that flaw out and, like I say, either re-chrome it or outclad it. But for all the guys that are using kit chrome, um, there's a couple procedures that you can use. Uh, if your parts kind of dull out a little bit, um, you can get them cleaned up somewhat. Uh, but you have to be very careful with kit chrome because it's very fragile. It's very thin. And um, if you go trying to rub on it too much or, you know, get, get aggressive as far as wiping it off, uh, you are going to dull it out to where it will not get its luster back. Um, but a couple of things that you can do, um, I'm going to pan the camera down here and I'll show you what we're talking about and, and a couple of little steps to go through, nothing hard to do, uh, and I'll show you the products we're using. So let me get the camera down here on the workbench. There we go. Okay, this part I've got laying right here is actually a finished part. And I'm trying to spin it there so you can see the reflection in it. Let me see if I can get something that uh, will show up in it. Ah, probably not. But you can see the reflection in that part. I mean, it's it's very shiny. Um, all this is is kit chrome uh, straight out of the box. Uh, this actually was pretty dull when I did this procedure on it. So here's the steps that we take to uh, get the chrome up to this point. First thing we're going to do is I have a headlight assembly laying here out of a uh, uh, Peterbilt 378 kit, I think is what it is. And it's it's a shiny, but still got a little dullness to it. Uh, it's an older piece. It's been laying around the parts bin for a while. Uh, this is my microfiber towel that I use. Uh, actually, it's for eyeglasses. I got a whole pack of these, and I use them for various things. Um, one of the first things, let me stress, is when you're using kit chrome parts, uh, whenever you're handling these or you're installing them, make sure you put on a pair of rubber gloves um, or the latex gloves like you see me using in the videos. It keeps the oils from your fingers off of these parts. Uh, not all kit chrome will do it. But I know uh, some of the kit chrome that I used to mess with, if I was to grab a hold of this part with my fingers and hold on to it for any length of time, it would actually leave my fingerprint in the chrome. Uh, and that's a reaction between the chrome and the oil that's in your fingers. So take your part that you have here and take your microfiber towel and just kind of, you know, wipe across it. And like I say, this one has some definitely has some hazing in it uh, because it is an older part so at that point I'll look at that and go well wiping it off is not going to do it so what do we do to get that cleaned up well the first thing that we're going to use on that is a product that I use a whole bunch I actually use it when I go to shows for my uh, final wipe down before I set the car on the table and that is going to be the Novus number one. It's the plastic cleaner and shine. Very simple procedure on this. Now I am going to use a Q-tip, but I am going to state one thing. Uh, I use a Q-tip because it makes it a little bit easier to do this process, but Q-tips can be abrasive. 
So be very light in your touch when you're doing this. Now all I do is take a brand new Q-tip and just put a little bit of the uh, Novus number one onto the Q-tip. <clears throat> now I have a piece of little parch tree uh, still attached to this. So, and then what I do is just lightly, and I'm just barely touching the surface to put the uh, Novus number one down on it. I'm not scrubbing back and forth with the Q-tip. It's just basically putting enough down on the surface to uh, get the number one spread over the whole thing. Once you're done with that step there, I usually take and just kind of wick off a lot of the excess. Um, I always work on my workbench with a one of these shop towels down. Uh, if you don't have, you know, have this particular setup here, uh, just take a piece of uh, shop towel or paper towel and just touch this to it, and it'll draw a lot of the number one novice off of it. And then what you do is just go in with your microfiber towel and just lightly buff the part. Nothing heavy, and make sure that this stays clean, because if this cloth does not stay clean, it will scratch your chrome, and you don't really want that. But, like I say, on this old headlight assembly here, it, um, it's um got some hazing in it, and it doesn't look like it used to. Uh, if you've got some parts that you just need to, you know, bring a little bit of the luster back on it, the number one will work great. So, actually, it cleaned it up pretty good. It actually looks a whole lot better than what it did. So, but, you know, if you've got parts that are in real good shape and you want to make sure that they're nice and clean, uh, even after you put them on, you can use the same technique. Um, bumpers, you know, grill surround, stuff like that. Uh, that's basically all there is to it. A little bit of Novus number one on a Q-tip. Lightly touch it to the part. Cover the part. Take your uh, microfiber towel and buff it off, and you should be good to go. Now, uh, in the case of this old headlight lens I've got here, or headlight bucket, uh, it's still got some, still got some blushing in it. It's not, you know, I, I wouldn't call it a, a pristine part. It also has much flaws in it, but, um, to make that look a little better, we are gonna use Future! Uh, I did a video where we use this on clear parts. Well, this product also works very well on chrome parts. So what we do, we've got that little bit of a parts tree on there, and I think this will fit in the top of the bottle. We'll find out here. But I just grab a hold of it with my needle nose uh, tweezers there, and basically just set the part, dip it down in the future, bring it out, and as soon as you bring it out, go over to your paper towel, wick off the excess, just like we did on the glass. Same procedure. And another little thing that I like to do, especially on this chrome, is I like to take a little piece of a... Let me get one here. Come over here. There we go. I like to take a little piece of the, uh, of the towel and just tear off. And what you want is those little strandy fibers that stick out the end of the towel there and just lightly touch them in your corners or on like your bottom edge back in here where the bracket is just lightly touch it and what that does is it draws the excess future off of this part and that way you don't have any runs or anything in it and just take this part and set it over to the side and let it dry uh, in the case of this headlight bucket here I can actually set this down on like a piece of plastic. I wouldn't set it on a cloth because it will stick to it. Um, just kind of set that down on a piece of plastic that you would have here or um, you know something a, a mirror glass or a piece of glass something like that. Just set that down just like that and uh, let it dry. And when you're done with it you should come out with a part that looks like that right there. Um, very shiny. It still has its flaws underneath of the kit chrome but if that's not a concern to you and you're building for your own shelf, um, this technique works pretty well. It'll brighten the chrome up. Uh, now, I know a lot of guys will say that they spray a clear coat over top of chrome to dull it down. Uh, that is not the case with Future. It does not dull the chrome. It actually, um, you know, gives it a nice sheen. Uh, this is actually a spot mirror right here. And, I mean, I can see, you can see the reflection if you watch that mirror. 
you can see uh, actually my paint bottles up here in front of you. That's what's reflecting in it. Um, so it does a real good job and takes about, uh, give it about 15 minutes or so to dry. And there's what I was talking about. When I set that thing down on that towel, see how much liquid it drew out of the out of the opening where the headlight uh, the headlights yourself go in. So that's why I say when you set this down, you might want to pick it up a couple of times just to make sure that it's not sticking to whatever you set it on, uh, because this stuff will wick out. Even if it's a piece of plastic, it might stick to it. But you know that doesn't make the part perfect, but it does make it a little bit more reflective, makes the chrome look a little bit better. Uh, better so. Um, Hopefully that will give you another idea, um, you know, on some of the little simple tricks that I use. Uh, like I say, I don't use Kit Chrome anymore, but for you guys that do, maybe try this out. And the one thing that I stress on this is be very careful when you're doing this. You don't want to get a lot of runs or anything like that in it. Because if you have to strip this future back off, you're going to have to use uh, Windex to do it. And, uh, or ammonia, and which it, Windex has. And uh, a lot of times the ammonia will take the chrome uh, plating off of these parts. So be very careful and try to get this just right on your first try. And set that over to the side, let it dry, and when you're done you should have a pretty shiny part. And the good thing is, is once this dries, it's also sealed to chrome. So you can wipe it off in the future and you don't have to worry about it. Um, you can just take your microfiber towel and just wipe over top of it and you're not wiping on the chrome. You're actually wiping on the future itself. So, uh, like always, if you have any questions or concerns, just leave me a comment on the video. I'll be more than glad to get back to you. And um, I'm going to go ahead and let you go today. And uh, I thank you for watching, and we'll talk to you later.